Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's 619 on your Thursday morning. Welcome back. Now it's time to take a look at this weather and it's been some really interesting clouds out there. Yeah, and we got so many photos in mm -hmm. that I could probably show a new photo every time that I'm on this morning and never get through all the ones that wow. we, that we well, got. they're amazing though. They are amazing. Now this uh, picture came in from Leanne. Now she was at the Wildwood Golf Course in Minot uh, out at her Women's Golf League and they just stopped to take a picture of the storm. You can see some uh, beautiful Mamatis clouds. That's those pillow-like clouds and Dre got this picture uh, also out of Minot. Most of our photos came from Minot because of course these storms moving through these higher population centers, thousands of folks seeing these clouds and sending in your photos. So we want to thank you uh, for sending in your, not just photos, but your storm reports. So here is a radar estimation of the rain that fell. And you can see where that line of storms developed and dumped the heaviest uh, amounts of rain there, uh, over an inch and a half, just north of Dickinson, near Belden, about an inch and three quarters. Also uh, near, uh, that's Glenburn, Southern Ward County, over an inch and a half. And it was uh, kind of isolated. Most of us stayed dry. I got about three tenths of an inch out of the airport in Minot. Here's where the cloud cover is right now, mostly for southern North Dakota. We'll pull in chances for some storms later on today and temperatures start off in the 60s this morning. We've got light winds from the south as well. 5 to 10, uh, some out of the east here, but what we'll see is a southerly wind into the afternoon and the highs return to the 80s and the 90s. It's another hot day out there and the hottest temperatures will once again be in northern North Dakota and off towards the northwest around the Bakken. But you also should know that the dew points will continue to be a factor. In, in fact, we're talking dew points in some cases around 70 degrees. What that means is the humidity will stay high. The muggy factor stays there. It certainly will be dangerous for folks who work outdoors later on this afternoon. We also have chances for severe storms. Here's the marginal risk. Uh, it's on the low end, the risk is, but of course, just like yesterday, you saw that low end risk that we had, but we still had ping pong size hail and gusts of around 60, also heavy downpours. The threats are still the same for today. Most of us will get missed, but if you don't, it will be a damaging storm. So here's the forecast today. We've got some sunshine, uh, but again, cloud cover looking to kind of stick around for southern North Dakota. We'll probably get some breaks here and there. Highs are going to be hot. Here's where we see the rain and storm line move in from the west. We'll have to watch these. Here's 5 p.m. Now, as it pushes into central North Dakota just like yesterday. It's not moving into the most conducive atmosphere, but we'll have to uh, really keep an eye on these storms once again moving through the Minot area kind of around around the same time frame as yesterday. And then once we get into tonight, they'll turn more into garden variety storms before clearing out for Friday morning. Friday mostly sunny with temperatures back into the 80s and the 90s. And so it's going to be another hot day tomorrow. High dew points again, so prepare for the heat and the humidity for the next few days. Here's your Dickinson three day forecast cloud cover this morning with 80s over the next few days, keeping a slight chance for some storms, not just later today, but into the overnights for the next few days. Williston, an area seeing sunshine this morning, uh, pulling in some cloud cover from the west and highs returning to the 90s. Now, as we head to the weekend, we're going to keep the heat. We do have a cold front moving through that will bring us down a little bit. I mean, we're still going to be hot. We're talking low 80s there for Monday. Here's your mind at seven day. Uh, some areas possibly staying in the 70s on Tuesday. That will be a nice break. Here's your Bismarck seven day forecast, keeping the heat for a few days a little bit cooler next week. And in fact, the second half of next week not looking nearly as hot as what we have been seeing in this forecast. So if you're done with the heat, Next week will be a little better for you. Now, I cannot say that we're done with the 90s, even after next mm -hmm. week, because it's still August after all. It's the dog days of summer. Yes. I keep saying that. All right. Thank you, Amber. And keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come, we will go inside the state's newest.